Hello everyone, today we're going to put in an AOTech Multi-Sensor 6. Boy, that's hard to say. We're going to throw that one up in the attic to measure the attic temperature and the attic humidity. And in this video, you're going to see that I've added some uh, additional troubleshooting steps because when I installed it in the Home Assistant, I made some mistakes on naming and figuring out which sensor device that I was actually using. So I left all that in the video so you can kind of go through my thought process whenever I can't figure out why it's not working. A little longer than normal, but that's why. So let's get to it and enjoy. open this up get the cover off the back of it use the finger there get that open there you go and we'll just take this there's it comes with a battery I'm gonna take the battery out because I'm gonna run this on USB power and you can see right in there is a little USB plug and so I'll plug this into power here like so you can see it goes right out there just plug it in like that and then we can put the cover back on and this cord will go right out that hole right there and lock it there we go now we have a red multicolor light going on you can see that blue all right, and now we're going to add this to our Z-Wave setup. All right, first things first, come down to configuration, click on, scroll down to Z-Wave, click on Z-Wave, and then click on the add node button right here. And then we're going to push the button on here, this little button right here, you can barely see it. It doesn't even look like a button, it's a dent. Push it, and you'll see that start to flash. And whenever it'll turn solid green for two seconds. All right, so we added that node to our Z Wave network. So if we look here, we should see a new node which is this guy right here, the Aeon Labs ZW multi Z100 Multisensor 6. And it's been added to it. And I know it's node 40 because I didn't have a node 40 before. So I can click on that and I can look at node information. And I'm gonna change the name of this already. I'm gonna call it Attic Multisensor. Multi sensor, and I'm also going to give it a name override of attic multi sensor. And of course, the entity is enabled, and I'm going to update it now. So, if we come over to our developer tools and we look at states, that node should now show up here as attic attic multi-sensor node ID 40 and there's all of its attributes 
Okay, let's put that sensor to work for us now. You can see here that I have a few temperatures, temperature sensors on my current uh, dashboard. And a couple of these, uh, this one right here is an AOTech sensor. And um, this is an AOTech sensor. So we're just gonna add the new one that I just put in to the Z-Wave Z network. I'm gonna add it right to the right of this weather panel. And for that, since it's already part of this horizontal stack, which by the way, this is a horizontal stack and this is a horizontal stack. I'm going to add it right below or right to the right of the, the weather panel. And it's super simple, right? Once you have it added to your Z-Wave network, you just come into uh, YAML if that's what you're using and just throw it in. So since it is YAML, it needs to be uh, correct in terms of spacing. So we'll line up the characters in the right spot. So this is a gauge card and the entity is going to be our new sensor we added, which is actually called attic, uh, it's sensor and it's called attic multi sensor because that's what I renamed it to. You saw earlier in the video, um, the name, I'm going to give it a name of called attic and, um, make some values up here. Minimum value on the gauge will be it's since it's in the attic, it could get kind of cold. So let's make it 20 and it also can get really hot. And so let's make that 120. And when we save that and go back over here, if everything worked well and we refresh <clears throat> this UI, we will see that card there. And as with all things on the first try, it's not available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the States under developer tools and make sure I named that correctly. So let's take a look here real quick. As soon as it loads the states up, there you go. Look for attic. And there is attic multi Z wave attic multi sensor. So if I look at sensor now, let, let me go look for sensor and see if it's called something else. And sometimes whenever you have a lot of devices with a lot of attributes, it takes a long time. So you can actually get rid of the attributes and help find it faster. So if I look for, uh, yeah, see, so here's what happened. So I look for sensor and it's actually showing me that that is a multi sensor six number three. So this is what I don't quite understand. And then we'll just have to go with it for today. But it's, I renamed this, but for some reason, the binary sensor name didn't change. So we're going to use binary sensor three in our settings here, just like you see up here, Aon lab ZW 100 multi sensor six temperature and temperature two. This is going to be temperature three. And now if I save it and I go back to my dashboard, take a look, that sensor should actually be there once I refresh. And now it's telling me invalid entity. So let's figure that out. Oh yeah, because I call it sensor and binary sensor. So this is just a sensor. Save that, refresh, and are we going to see it? You bet we're not. So let me go back to developer tools, look at my states, and look for sensor. 
and like for what are we calling these guys sensor aeon labs and look for aeon labs and see if we have an aeon lab sensor and we do have all of these aeon labs attributes so here is the sensor aeon lab zw100 multi-sensor six temperature three pretty sure that's what i put but we'll just double check aeon labs zw100 multi -si sensor six uh sensor three and we need temperature It's going to be temperature, so it would be multi sensors, multi sensor six temperature three. Now let's try it. Go back to the dashboard and let's refresh. <laughs> so apparently, I still have some sort of typo, so let's triple check so oh yep there it is two dots and one more time let's refresh there it is now this isn't in the attic yet it's actually sitting right here with me and the desk I will put it up in the attic in a few minutes so I'm leaving all of this troubleshooting in this video because I want you to see the process that I go through sometimes when I add something to Home Assistant. It's not always quick, fast, and super easy. Sometimes I have to figure out why I'm doing it wrong. So when you're putting these things in here and you can't find the device you just added, look at that states table and check and see if it's under something else. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go put it up in the attic. Take a look and see what it looks like when it's all finished. There it is. Just sitting up there on the rafter, all nice and pretty. I keep equipment up here in the attic and I want to know the temperature and humidity just to make sure it's not getting too hot. You can see the radiant heat barrier that I have up here and the radiant heat barrier does a great job of keeping the temperatures down. So it's not terrible up here, but I do, I do want to make sure that it's not getting super hot. So that's why we built this, stuck it up here and now it's ready to go. Thank you everyone for watching today. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notified when I drop new videos. And make any comments you have in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Till next time.